Okay, so this is a good bit. I'm actually going to paint the outside of the trailer today. Uh, done all the filling, done the sanding on that. It's good enough to go. So I've got my lovely paint here. The old pylon paint. Just going to give it a quick stir and then we'll get going. Don't need so much of a stir now because I stirred it the other day when I did the inside and got it all mixed up. So actually, it's just a case of a quick, quick going over. Not too bad at all. Okay, let's get going. Yes, the funky farmer. There we go, bit of fun. I've just test drive my little brush here, which I'm gonna try and paint around the Norton sign a bit carefully. I've got my whopper brush back now, so we'll crack on with the whopper brush. The only problem I can see is that this paint is a lot, in this tin anyway, is a lot runnier than the tin I had before. And um, then there's just a different batch or something. I think it's going to dribble all over the Blooming Norton signs, so I might have to be spending my time rubbing those off. This stuff's very thin, it's running all over the place, so um, I'm, not get I'm getting drips on the side, which is a bit annoying. Okay, so I've got my little brush, I'm just going to do around the uh, little signs now. Just finished that bit, but now it looks like Vorton. I need to put the end back. Never mind. I'd rather keep the stickers. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, so I'm now on the main sticker now. I just realised I, I could probably have contacted Norton Trailers because they they did go bust a few years ago, but I think someone's restarted the company. And I wonder if they've got any stickers I could have had to put here. I think they're made down in Somerset now. They used to be made in Tockington, I believe, which isn't far from me. There we go, that ain't bad now. Ooh, got a bit of straw stuck to the side. Oh. So those stickers are, are okay. And so I'm going to put a little bit of black just on that end because that looks just silly. Vorton. Um, do that right at the very end though. Yeah, so uh, now I've just got to get round and do this side and that side. Okay, so this stuff has really gone like concrete um, and it's really good actually, I'm really pleased how that's come up. But I I've, I've need a bit of sanding, but I realised, typical, on the farm as usual, I've got not quite the right things I need. I've got a load of rubbishy bits of leftover sandpaper, nothing really very good. So all I'm going to be able to do is just rough it up good enough, I think. By the time I put two layers of paint on it, I think it will get rid of most of the blemishes. Um, so I'm just going to give it a... Quick sand. I haven't got any. The problem is I haven't really got any good coarse sandpaper. All I've got is some really fine stuff. This bit's this bit's coarse-ish, but um, it's been used before, so it hasn't got a lot of contact. It actually feels really smooth, but it looks a bit rough. That was quite funny, I just realised I'm doing this kind of thing. And you think, actually, does it really matter? Because the only person who's going to see this is me, but then you guys are going to see it as well. But also, once I'm out with the muck and that, that's the least of my worries, this. But uh, I just think, oh, I just can't help myself, really. When I do a job like this, I think I've got to try and do it as best I can. So anyway, I'm just going to sand that other side down, and then uh, that'll be it for today. Okay, so starting on the front of the tractor, it's filled, it's ready to go. I'm going to paint over Weber and Sons. I don't know who they are, but I, I don't think it's right to have that on there now. Cornock and Sons would be better, wouldn't it? Or the Funky Farmer. Let's crack on then. Goodbye, Mr. Weber.
slap it all off. I have done everything apart from the Norton sign. Um, I'm not going to show you that filming bit, I'm just going to do that now and then I will catch up at the end, alright? See ya. Boom! Finished. Okay, so that is the top coat of paint done on there, all the way around. We'll just have a quick look and then I'm finished. Okay, so uh, there you go. I've, uh, let's just have a little walk around. I've painted the interior and the exterior primer now. Uh, covered up the filler reasonably well in the bottom there. So that's okay. And uh, done all that side. It's still wet on that side. It's drying very quickly though. I mean, I could actually leave it that colour because it doesn't look that bad really. I quite like that colour. But uh, I want to... I've got a top coat of this stuff, the grey. Dribbly grey, this is vinyl finished grey green. You can see the colour it is, it's a sort of metallic green. So that's what that's going to be, and we'll be doing that another day. In the meantime, there we go.